Welcome to Electron lecture online and now we're going to look at the boiling point of water and we're going to differentiate between boiling water and evaporation. Evaporation is simply an interaction between the atmosphere and a source of water. For example, let's say we have this pot of water right here and at all times molecules are jumping free from the surface into the atmosphere and at the same time molecules from the atmosphere are coming down and entering into the water. And evaporation is such that more molecules will leave than will enter and that's usually the case when the relative humidity in atmosphere is less than 100%. With other words, we have a chart here that shows the partial vapor pressure of water with respect to the atmosphere and at different temperatures the partial vapor pressure can be higher or lower and we'll get into that in just a moment but if the amount of humidity in the air is less than what the air can hold then there's room for more molecules and evaporation can occur if the relative humidity is 100% with other words if the air has as much water as it can hold then no more water molecules can enter and then evaporation will not occur now boiling is something different boiling is where you're adding heat to, a, to water, so there's a source of heat, and of course to make water then change from the uh, liquid state to the vapor state, you have to go to that change of phase, and that change of phase requires a lot of energy. It requires 440 calories per, per gram of water. So you cannot have boiling unless you have a source of energy causing the change to occur. In addition to that, boiling can only occur if the pressure of the atmosphere doesn't prevent it. For example, the greater the atmospheric pressure, the hotter the temperature needs to be for boiling to be able to occur. And at our current one atmosphere of atmospheric pressure, which is a normal atmospheric pressure on the Earth, the temperature needs to be 100 degrees centigrade. When you go high up in the mountains where the atmospheric pressure is less, boiling can occur at lower temperatures because there's not as much force, not as much pressure of the atmosphere keeping down the boiling action. That's really what's taking place here. Simply put, the, the uh, water cannot change into a f to the gas phase or the vapor phase unless it can expand. And what keeps that expansion from occurring is the pressure in the atmosphere. Of course, if the expansion, if the temperature of the water gets high enough, then enough energy can be expended to expand beyond the atmospheric pressure and then boiling will occur. And that's the simple facts of boiling and evaporation. So hopefully that will help us understand some of the future videos.